Mexico that summer. He traveled by bus and took pictures with his silver camera. Maybe he carried around a leather travel case as well. When he returned, we ate soup together and he showed me pictures of old doctors while they talked about anatomy in the hot countryside. We talked about walking around Texas and the problems of our fathers. I showed him drawings made from trash and paintings that I wore myself out on. We shared all that we could remember doing and then he walked himself home. In the weeks that followed, I met his new roommate, a painter and an aspiring architect with poet friends from South America. All of them had a deep reservoir of cultural interests and pools of brightly lit talent in which liked to bathe. All of them were unforgivably clean and gentle people, they spoke of Dallas with reverence and then they smoked or drank lightly. Dallas, after all, was an old soul. He was the kind of manifestation that conquered helium and could listen to you without getting lost. For Dallas, the boxes that Rauschenberg had fashioned maintained their peculiar charm. Children of the slacker generation recognized in those boxes something that was kindred, something that could make meat of morsels. Or in the sturdy constructions that Twombly also made. Let's outside talk, we'll spend our low voices there. We can rumble through great piles of symmetry and nature.